In this video, I will be reviewing a 14-inch 2-in-1 convertible laptop from Lenovo that supports an active stylus pen. So it's Lenovo IdeaPad Flex 5i, where i stands for the Intel chips. So specifically, these are the 11th generation Intel processors. Now, I have already reviewed the AMD version of uh, this laptop here on this channel. You can find a link to that video over here and in the video description below. In that video, I came out highly impressed with the performance of these 6 and 8 core AMD Ryzen processors. So is this new Intel version of Lenovo Flex 5i better than AMD? Keep watching to find out. By the way guys, at the time of making this video, the 11th generation Intel model of Lenovo Flex 5i, it was costing more than equivalently spec'd AMD model of this laptop. But the prices tend to fluctuate, so please check out the links that I have put in the video description below. I have put country specific links with most up to date pricing and availability information. Please note that some models of Lenovo Flex 5i may not be available in your country. But I expect Lenovo to make these laptops available later part of this year. Now I will try my best to keep the links that I have posted below up to date so you guys can come back and check these links and make sure that you know the laptop is available in your area. Let's talk about the build quality of this laptop. So Lenovo Flex 5i is built using premium materials. The top half of this laptop is made from aluminium while the bottom half is built using a 30% fiberglass reinforced polycarbonate material. This results in a laptop chassis boasting higher strength, rigidity and dimensional stability than a typical ABS polymer budget laptop. Its exterior body has a fine sand blasted metallic finish which feels very grippy and secure when holding this laptop in your hands. My view unit is a platinum gray color model and it has this minimalistic silver colored Lenovo logo which looks very professional. Since this is a 2-in-1 laptop, the quality of the hinge is very important and Lenovo does not disappoint. You are getting a pair of metallic hinges that are built like a tank. So these should last for many years with minimal wear and tear. Lenovo Flex 5i weighs about 3.3 pounds or 1.5 kilograms, which is fine for a 14-inch laptop. It's definitely not the lightest 2-in-1 laptop that I have used, but considering its superior build quality, guys, I'm not going to complain. You are getting a 14-inch Full HD widescreen touch-enabled display that supports Active Stylus Pen. So it's an LED backlit IPS panel with a maximum brightness of 250 nits. Lenovo Flex Size glossy screen makes videos and pictures pop out. The text also looks sharp and I find it a pleasure to work on this laptop for long hours. When it comes to color reproduction, this laptop's display is delivering around 45% NTSC color gamut, which is fine for most folks, but digital professionals, you know, guys who do color grading on DaVinci Resolve or Adobe Photoshop, they will be disappointed. Now, hands down, the best feature of Lenovo Flex 5i is the writing experience with the included active Pen. So this pen boasts over 200 levels of pressure sensitivity and coupled with its low latency, you are getting an excellent writing experience. Of course, no digital surface will ever feel like real paper, but the included active pen has really impressed me. I've tried active pens on various laptops like Acer Spin 3, Dell Inspiron 2-in-1, HP Envy X360, but Lenovo Flex 5i, it always comes out on top and delivers the best note-taking experience. Now, I mostly use Microsoft OneNote app and the Windows Ink Space for taking notes and also for writing equations and making diagrams. Lenovo Flex 5i is included active pen. It comes with two programmable physical buttons. So by default, the first button acts as an eraser while the second button acts as the right mouse click. This pen is powered by a single quadruple A battery that lasts for over a year. So you don't need to worry about charging it daily. I think the inclusion of an active pen makes uh, Lenovo Flex 5i a really compelling laptop, not just for students, but also for working professionals. My Lenovo Flex 5i is powered by an 11th generation Intel Core i5 1135G7 processor. You also have a choice of going with the faster Intel Core i7 1165G7 processor. Here is a chart showing the key difference between these CPUs and their AMD counterparts. So the biggest difference is in the core count. Intel Core i5 and Intel Core i7, these are quad core CPUs, while the AMD Ryzen 5 and uh, Ryzen 7, these are hexa core and octa core CPUs. Intel chips offers hyper threading, which 
which is disabled in these Ryzen processors. So that means both Core i5 and Core i7 offer 8 threads as opposed to only 6 threads in Ryzen 5 and 8 threads in Ryzen 7. So guys, how does all this translate to real world performance? Let's take a look at some benchmarks. So here's the Cinebench single core benchmark and in this benchmark, Intel chips are the clear winner. Even the Core i5 is beating AMD's high-end Ryzen 7 4700U processor by almost 12%. And this is not really surprising because uh, these 11th generation Intel chips are using a brand new Tiger Lake microarchitecture. Okay, now let's take a look at the Cinebench multi-core benchmark. Here, Ryzen 7 4700U comes out on top thanks to its eight physical cores. But interestingly, the six core Ryzen 5 4500U processor, it loses to both Intel Core i5 and Intel Core i7, even so these processors only have four cores and this is because intel is employing its secret weapon and that's hyper threading technology now the hyper threading technology doubles the number of threads so both these uh, core i5 and core i7 uh, processors have eight execution threads now let's compare the graphics performance of intel and amd chips so here is the igpu fp32 benchmark where intel's iris xc integrated graphics it has completely demolished amd's integrated vega graphics i'm really impressed with what intel has delivered with these 11th generation tiger lake chips my Lenovo Flex 5i, it easily handles everything that I throw at it. So day-to-day -day tasks like internet surfing, running office productivity, you know, apps like word processor, Excel and PowerPoint, they run like a breeze. This laptop also handles complex tasks. So stuff like software development, video editing in DaVinci Resolve and Photoshop. I'm able to do all these tasks on this laptop, no problem. I also tried engineering applications like AutoCAD and I was able to load typical uh, AutoCAD project files and tinker with them, no problem. This laptop handled all these applications with ease. Now, when it comes to gaming, I tried Fortnite at default setting and I got an average frame rate of 60 FPS, which I think is pretty good for a thin and light laptop, you know, if you are indulging in gaming. So overall, I'm really impressed with both the CPU and the GPU performance of Lenovo Flex 5i. I think this laptop is a beast. Let's talk about the keyboard. Lenovo Flex 5i comes with an island style keyboard which is backlit enabled. So this keyboard has platinum grey keys and uh, they have white lettering. Now the backlighting has a cool white color which enhances the visibility of each keys when you know you are using the laptop in a dark room. The intensity of the backlighting is user adjustable and you can also completely turn it off if you don't like it. The typical typing experience on this laptop is fantastic. It trumps most other two-in-one laptops in the market and it delivers you know really good key travel and springy tactile feedback. Now I'm someone who types a lot and I've really enjoyed typing on this laptop. There's also a fingerprint reader under the right arrow key which is great for passwordless login. Let's talk about the trackpad. So the trackpad is 4.2 by 3 inches making it a little taller than typical trackpads that you find on a 14 inch laptop. So the build quality of this trackpad it's actually pretty good. It does not wobble and it gives a satisfying click when pressed. Its surface is smooth and feels great when you slide your fingers across it. In addition to performing simple things like scrolling and pinch and zoom the trackpad also allows advanced gestures like toggling between various open apps you know if you want to see how many windows are open or if you want to switch virtual desktops and quickly minimize to desktops you can use all these advanced gestures on this uh, trackpad so overall guys i will say that this laptop has a really good quality keyboard and an above average trackpad Now let's talk about the system memory and the onboard SSD storage. So Lenovo Flex 5i comes in various configurations. My unit has 16 gig of DDR4 3200 MHz RAM. Unfortunately, Lenovo has soldered this RAM to the motherboard so you cannot upgrade the RAM. So be careful when you're buying this laptop because you will be stuck with whatever memory that comes with your uh, you know, laptop. Now on this laptop, I was able to run over 20 Chrome tabs without issues. They, I was able to seamlessly switch between various tabs and there was no lag. The laptop always felt very snappy when running productivity apps like Microsoft Word and Excel Sheet. When it comes to disk storage, this laptop is rocking a 512 gig NVMe M.2 solid state drive. So this is a really fast SSD and 512 gig should be sufficient for most folks. Fortunately, Lenovo does allow you to upgrade the SSD to a bigger one. So if you are interested in SSD upgrade, please check out the links that I have put in the video description below. I have linked compatible PCIe NVMe SSDs that will work with this laptop. 
Let's talk about the battery life. So Lenovo Flex 5 i ships with a 3 cell 52.5 watt hour battery which I think is a very beefy battery for a 14 inch laptop. The 11th generation Intel chips are built on newer 10 nanometer super thin process technology and this means that you are going to get much better thermal performance from these uh, CPUs and you will also get much better battery life. So I'm actually very impressed with the battery life. I got an amazing 11 hour battery life during a continuous 1080p video playback at 150 nits of brightness. I also tried PC Mark 10 battery test which simply simulates real world usage by running common office applications at regular interval and this test delivered around 8 hours of battery life which I think is pretty impressive. So the included 65 watt hour AC adapter uses USB type C charging port and it is able to charge the laptop from 0 to 80 percent in under 60 minutes. If your battery is running low thanks to the quick charge technology you can get 2 hours of extra runtime with just 15 minutes of charging. Now regarding thermal heat dissipation Lenovo Flex 5i has a large cooling fan and a dual pipe heat sink to keep the CPU cool. Under heavy workload my laptop ran cool without getting too loud and it never really felt hot when running demanding jobs like video editing or software compilation. Overall for a thin and light laptop I am pretty happy with both the battery life and the thermal performance of Lenovo Flex 5i. Let's talk about the audio. So Lenovo Flex 5i comes with top firing stereo speakers which deliver a total of 4 watts of sound. So these speakers get reasonably loud in laptop mode because they are facing upwards towards the user. There is minimal distortion and these speakers sound decent while watching videos and listening to music. But in tablet mode when you flip the screen back the speakers are now facing away from you so they don't feel as loud. Okay now I want to talk about the webcam because it's important these days everybody is on zoom conference calls. So you are getting a 720 webcam which comes with a physical shutter for extra privacy. Now I appreciate the shutter button but I'm not very happy with the 720p webcam. It's just like any other webcam you find on uh, you know a typical Windows uh, laptop. As long as you have good lighting conditions the video quality produced is fine for a uh, you know zoom conference calls but I really wish that Lenovo had put a 1080p webcam in this year's model. Laptop makers really need to step up their game. I'm really disappointed with all Windows laptops. They all are you know shipping with this shitty 720p webcam and it's a shame guys $150 you know Android phone that I can buy here in the United States that comes with a better webcam than these thousand dollar laptops. Luckily it's really easy to add an external 1080p USB webcams and these webcams tend to be very cheap so I will drop a link of my favorite budget 1080p webcam that can be directly plugged into this laptop and you can dramatically improve the quality of your videos. For a thin and light laptop, Lenovo is offering a pretty good selection of ports. So you are getting two USB 3.1 Gen 1 ports supporting data transfer speeds up to 5 gigabits per second. There is also a USB Type-C 3.1 Gen 1 port which can be used to charge this laptop. But unfortunately, this USB Type-C port does not support DisplayPort protocol. So you will have to use the HDMI port for connecting uh, the laptop to an external monitor. Now I tested the HDMI port with my 27 inch 4K monitor and this laptop had no trouble driving 4K signal at 60 hertz refresh rate over this HDMI cable. Now if you are a camera nerd like me you will be happy to know that this laptop comes with a full size SD card reader and as far as wireless uh, you know protocols are concerned you have full support for Wi-Fi 6.0 and Bluetooth 5.0 standard so that's nice you will get the fastest Wi-Fi connection if you have the latest uh, technology routers. So I think the port situation on this laptop is pretty good other than you know the missing Ethernet port Lenovo has basically all your bases covered. So here is the bottom line guys. I think the latest Intel model of Lenovo Flex 5i, it's one of the best 14 inch 2 in 1 laptops that you know you can buy in the market as of today. It has class leading CPU and GPU performance and it is also delivering excellent battery life and excellent thermals. The trackpad, the keyboard and the overall build quality of Flex 5i, I think it's excellent. I love using this laptop in tablet mode especially for taking notes with the included active pen. I think this pen is a really great asset. It's a great accessory for both students and for working professionals. I love this pen's low latency coupled with great palm rejection and this results in a really nice riding experience. So overall if you are in the market for a 14 inch 2 in 1 laptop I would highly recommend that you go with Lenovo Flex 5i. So guys links to the quad core Intel model as well as the 6 and 8 core AMD Ryzen models I have linked everything in the video description below and these are country specific links so please scroll down and find the country where you live in. Now I cannot link all the countries in the world 
channels but you know the ones where i can i try my best so that's it for today guys what do you think of uh, lenovo flex 5 i laptop are you team intel or are you team amd please let me know in the comment section below now if you guys found this video useful please like and subscribe to techno panda also check out techno panda reviews.com for more reviews focusing on laptops and gaming pcs so again guys thanks a lot for watching this video and i will see you guys in my next one bye